I'm gonna freak out right now. A disaster in the state sale and my bun is falling out. <sighs> I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I said, excuse me, and she, she just looks at me and bends over. <laughs> somewhere that I've been wanting to go for years and I'm not kidding you for years this giant like it's a house maybe it was like an antique store at one time or something but for years it was like it was closed and just just this big place and you could tell it was full like dirty old windows with like stuff in it right right along the highway years it's been closed been closed and they had this sign on the door that said like if you want if you're a serious antique buyer like call this number <laughs> you know it's kind of like when your mom tells you like if someone stranger offers you candy don't take it and now like with that I'm an adult if someone like offers me like antiques I'm like Ooh. <laughs> like obviously I didn't listen to mom <laughs> um, so anyways I've been calling this number for years and no one ever answered the phone. I was like, I am a serious person here. I'm, I want to see this stuff, but no one ever called me back. So last night I was scrolling on Marketplace and there was a, uh, an advertisement for an estate sale and I, I scrolled through the pictures. I'm like, oh, it's the place. It, it's open finally for years. So finally this place is open. I text my mom last night. I was like, do you want to go to this sale? And it's Thursday, mind you, which in our area, I feel like in the summertime, we always have like good estate sales and rummage sales and stuff that start on Thursdays. But in the wintertime, it is a rare occurrence. And if you ever have the chance to shop a sale on a Thursday, always do it because there's less people there and you can kind of shop a little more leisurely. So anyways, mom's coming over. We're going to go to this place. I'm so excited to see what's in there because apparently it's been closed for like 30 years or something. I don't know, so excited. Mom is prepared. I forgot our recycle totes, but my mom always pulls through. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's only like 10 cars here. Either it's a dud or it's awesome because it's a Thursday and nobody's here. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Look at that clock. Some of those wind up ones. Yeah. Oh, it's missing the stone, though. I got it. Which of these luxury boxes? I don't know if you're interested in Oh, yeah. Any time you. Yeah, I love those. Okay. Okay. You give me the word for sure, and I'll pull it down. Yeah, I'll pull it down. You do. Okay, I'll put it on my That's cool. Oh, it's broken. Look at shoes, mate. It's like somebody's broker. Broke yeah. Mm -hmm. Metal? Yeah. I think. Oh no, it's on the wall. Did you keep that rock? That's a metal, metal top. Is that like a little? It says Germany. That's kind of cool. Yeah. There was a whole room full of like clothes, and it might be like um, ribbon and stuff. I didn't even think of looking for that. I'm gonna get this one. So you just mm -hmm. might see a dollar. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be good. It's tea strainers right here. Oh, you can get your phone, huh? Well, I couldn't even find a big yes. one anymore. That's a neat one. There's the little plate that goes under it. Oh, yeah. Here's the big ball. Did you need one? No, not You found yours? Yeah. Okay, forever. 
he brings stuff from here and take it out there. Ooh, that's cool. Well, no, he okay. closed that and moved it to here. That's just material. That moves the table. Cool. Get that. The next room. Oh. oh, the print was so beautiful. I wonder if they could um, use that for something else, though. They could cut that off. Oh, what's that? Oh. I think it's in the, it's in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Well, it might be in this room, actually. I think you look at that. Little pears. That's kind of cool. Oh, thank you. It was you out there. I know. It's cold, but no. Is that in good shape? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Little cherry blossoms. Oh, carnations. Carnations. Fifty-four by seventy-two. That's a good size. No, I don't like that one. Brand new one. Please. No, it's this one. It's all skinny. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking in that room. I looked their first one where all the clothes were, but they might have like ribbon and stuff in there. I didn't really need a bill. Yeah. Just lots of suspenders. Oh, that's cute. They're like the Swiss dot. Mm -hmm. I saw this, but it had a big rip in it. I was like, oh, that's beautiful. Is it blanket? No, they're big drapes, but oh. I don't know where the, I don't know how bad it is. It looked like there was some wear. Dang, yeah, that would have been good in here. We'll check them out. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Let's see. One pair, seven foot long, a pair of panels. Mm. No rips, it says, so where to rip? I don't know. I thought I saw it. Maybe I didn't. So there's no rips in good shape. Maybe just that lining because it's getting old. Maybe it was just, yeah, maybe just the rope that I saw. Can I look at these real quick? You know what? These old ones are always weighted. Like, you know, that's what you wanted. Because yeah. you. Ooh, those would look good in my room. Oh, those are pretty. I want that rust color. Mm-hmm. I, I get those. Just get them dry cleaned. Yeah. Get the clips to hang them. Okay, we're going to risk it. Going to risk it. They're <laughs> only $8. He's like the price on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this going to be heavy to carry in that Well, why don't we just go and see how much we owe and then come back. Let me look at these gaucho pants for some. Okay, let me put this in my bag. I don't want to... There's another pair yeah. here. <laughs> these would be for pe pajama bottoms. Is that oh, it's 2XL. <laughs> That's a pajama bottom. Yeah. I wonder if there's any cute old slips in here or anything. Well, here's the... Try to make sure my ring doesn't fall off my yeah. hand when I'm digging. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Like this. I know. Yeah, you'd never find it. Yeah, Somebody else wouldn't. They'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually cute. Mm -hmm. That's your size. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. So, right. either if you have my number or I, I know we can... Look at that little pink one, right? Look at that, yeah. Yeah, I pulled that out when I... I like the yeah, bottom. Of course, of course. Like a melon kind of color. Oh, no, my hair's falling out. No, shirts are free. They're just a Look lot at of the stuff, balloon. Yeah. That's like 70s. But if stuff, this was tucked in, the pink gingham. Yeah, if you like, like it. That. It's not that many. Yeah, I don't think you need clothes. I don't care. I'm going to style it. Yeah. Is that what you say? I don't care. <laughs> I, don't. I mean, I think it's cute. we're in the summer. That's cute. It's big enough. I can wear it. Oh, now you're interested? <laughs> <laughs> Lady. Hold on. I got to fix my hair. This is like disaster in the estate sale. My bun is falling out. <sighs> this spoon rest? I know. I was trying to figure. Is that a spoon rest? I think it is. It looks really old. Like the little feet on it. Yeah, I think that's a spoon rest for like on your stove. Look what I found. Look at the little cabinets in here. So funny. And the stove. Didn't you have a, um, like avocado green in Eureka back yes. in the day? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. We had to drop our first round of stuff off and then go back so we could go look at other things. Other things. <gasps> but now the people are showing up. Yeah. It's, this this sale's been going for about an hour and a half now. It, like everybody's starting to show up. And what's sad is what people need to realize when you got a big bag of junk 
you just want to get out of there. Don't bend over in front of me. <laughs> I, I'm sitting there standing there with, you know, big bag of stuff. And this lady just stands there and then bends over. I was like, oh, oh. I didn't know what to do. I was like, excuse you should me. You like put your bag down and kind of bumped her butt a little. I was like, put her V in her butt. I was like, hey, me. I'm just trying to get out of here. You know, just, <laughs> my mom's like, I'm going to go stand outside. I'm lonely. I said, you're lonely. not lonely. She said, no, I'm about to freak out. <laughs> I couldn't get out. I always All these ladies were like, just like that one. She was probably about six foot five. And then she bent over in front of me. I couldn't get around her over anywhere. <laughs> over, under, around. Do you know what you say? Like, remember I said, we, excuse me. And she just. There's two things we need to do. I better freak out. I better you freak just, out. You just say, I'm going to freak out right now. And people will move. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Just look at them like I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak yeah. out. Just say it like really quietly and calm. Like people Sorry. are like, oh, so like yeah. you just say, I'm gonna freak out right now. <laughs> I'm gonna freak out right now. <laughs> and that lady was a button air, but a, <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know what to do. I said, excuse me, and she, she just looks at me and bends over. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get outside. I had to go stand outside. Even if it's 40 degrees out here, I had to go outside. <laughs> He's almost heading towards the door to leave. Just let him leave. Then there's more space for you. Yeah, that's the thing. If you let somebody out, you can go you in. Can, you can go into that space. Don't stop right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. Why uh, don't you tell somebody that next time? If you let me out, you get you my space. <laughs> you, you get the space, and you get you can look. I just want out of here. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> I'm like looking at Selena. I just said, trying I to Selena. Cry. I says, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna freak out of here. <laughs> She's like, you're lonely. I said, I'm not lonely. <laughs> Freak out. <laughs> you can't get out. Let me out of here. <laughs> First, it wasn't crowded. It was only probably maybe 20 people in those. Now there's probably about 50 people in, in this, a little house. In a, a a 900, little house. Probably a 900 square foot area. Oh, hi, Gail. I finally got to meet Gail from Third uh, uh, Vintage on Third in McMinnville. Oh, yay. I talked to her for years. And you, that was the one that says I slam his mom? Yeah. And I, <laughs> oh, I talked to her, literally, I've talked to her for years back and forth here and there on online. And I've never Never met her and I was she's like oh I saw you at the flea market and didn't say hi but I never knew what she looked like so I don't I didn't know but now I met her so that's cool oh I never did say hi to the wolves oh yeah I seen them um, a while back about two weeks or three weeks ago but I forgot to say hi to them that was fun meeting them that's cool yeah I probably will someday too we all go with the same things together yeah, so it was like, she goes oh hi Selena's mom <laughs> I like being the mom everybody calls me the mom now. You, you know what's funny is ever do you want to tell people your name or you don't want yeah. <laughs> I like being the mom I turn around anybody says mom I turn around anyway so that's what well, we call the mom people always say what's what's your mom's name you we don't know your mom's name and that's because I just I say mom I don't say yeah. your name I say mom it's okay it's I, mom. I can be your mom too you could be friends. We could be friends. We could be friends. <laughs> I like wood carvings. <laughs> Gardening. Gardening. Margaritas. Rogers. <laughs> Estate sales. I Going like, out for lunch. Love to go out for lunch. Love okay. I like libations. Where are we going to... Is it called life or vivations? I don't know. Liberations. Because you're liberated. And now we're sanitizing. Where are we going to have lunch today? Is it lunchtime already? Probably. <laughs> I was at that one Goodwill out here. Oh, okay. Lunchtime. Let's go to the Goodwill, and then we can go to the big antique mall, and maybe look for nightstands. Yeah. Sound good? Well, we have to go out eat here, though, because where the nights, the big antique mall doesn't Oh, yeah. There's any, no there's food there's over there. food over there. Oh, we can't survive. I remember that. We, I go by food. <laughs> yeah, we're planning around food. Yep. We got two ladies whose attitudes will change when we are hungry. <laughs> look at the dime. Oh, I'm bringing oh. this lady to Goodwill today for your good luck. Luck, goodwill charm. We don't know what we're looking for today. <laughs> I'm looking for a scrolly frame still, at least at least 24 inches wide or 30 inches wide by probably about 48 inches long. I like how you're specific. That's good. Yeah. Well, we might find one at the big antique mall too because yeah. that's huge. Mm -hmm. And I need nightstands. We want a cart or this. This. We've got to look at this metal thing. Is it a flat? Oh, no, it's a Christmas tree stand. That's funny. Oh, that's yeah, that's why it has that pole in there. That's kind of cool. That would be pretty, huh? Look at the lapel on that. Yeah, that's pretty. It's all wool. Yeah, Gorgeous. For 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Wow, look at all their artworks even organized at the store. Yeah, back there was organizing. Wow. Some organizing I want to look at the table runners and see if there's anything gorgeous. Oh, those would be neat painted, yeah. Are they metal? Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. around the edge in the middle and the middle. It'd be cool on, in your black bedroom, paint them. That's the last thing. Or you could paint like that dark burgundy red even would be pretty. How much are they? They're $9.99. That's as much as that. Those pictures were. Yeah, that would be their art. Ew. That's so ugly. I don't know. Oh, it's a chalkboard. I was like, that's terrible art. <laughs> uh, well, how much is it though? You might need a frame. I don't need that. Oh, yeah. I have a beautiful one in my okay. garage I need to use. So everyone is laughing at the Christmas video when we were looking through ornaments and you're all, oh, I don't know what, whose kid that is. <laughs> you threw it back in the box. <laughs> I was like, you have a picture of some other kid, mom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, what is this? Hold on, I gotta look at these. Oh, that print's beautiful. They're curtain. I gotta look at these. Hold on, Mom. It's gorgeous. And they're like pressed already. Which yeah, you already went to the planners. You don't have to Oh, those are pretty. Yeah, look at that passion. That is really pretty. West Point Steve. Oh, only only one panel, dang. You could use that for a tablecloth. Oh, yeah. Or even like fabric for pillows. Like oh, yeah. Pillow. Making your own pillows. It's really beautiful. I'm going to get it. Because <laughs> somebody, you, I mean, for a tablecloth, that'd be beautiful. You should oh, yeah. put it on your table and just let people. Or the foot of your bed. Because it's narrow. Yeah. Right at the foot of your bed. The or cut it in half and make two curtains. <laughs> you oh, yeah, like a little balance or yep. anything. Yeah. That reminds me of that pine one I have. Someone told me it's from Mexico. Fourteen ninety nine. Old wood something engraved. Look at this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a neat table. The wrong top on it, but the base is cool. Yeah. Look at that. That's sure pretty. Oh, the oil and vinegar. It's the salad server. That's what this is. A salad bowl. That's not pretty. It's just you and me eating salad, so we wouldn't need that. It's <laughs> These look like you, Mom. Look at these little... Oh, they're the melamine. Mom, that'd be cute for... Oh, for, um... In the uh, summer on your patio. You remember we got those tropical... Cups. Yeah, those are cool. Mm -hmm. And they're plastic. We like that. <laughs> especially. Yeah. Yeah, put them in there. Those are cute. Oh, I had a I had a dish that looked like this signed Italy on the bottom. Look, it's a soup latrine. <laughs> I've never the latrine. <laughs> On the ledge right here, little rock, but it's not broke. Just looks like the glaze gone off. It's pretty. This one's cool, like for beach house vibes. Yeah. We are recharged and we are ready because we had lunch. We have good attitudes now. <laughs> We're ready. We're at the Lafayette Schoolhouse Antique Mall now and haven't been here since last time we went. That was summertime. Like summertime. Was, yeah, it was yeah. really hot when we came here last time. Yeah, but my mom's on a mission for her scrolly frame. I need some nightstands. Whatever else strikes my fancy. All right, lady, you need to get focused here and get in the game. Yes. <laughs> I'm wearing fleece leggings and I'm cold. <laughs> Sometimes those old warehouses, because they're um, the concrete, yeah. I've always loved this painting, Mom. It's been here for years. That is not pretty. That looks really peaceful. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. The grapes. <laughs> I see them everywhere. Whoa, are these glass? Yeah, those are little blown glass ones. Mm. Wow, I'd be afraid to have those. Mm -hmm. Look at even the little, the whole base of it. 
Oh wow, yeah. That's taster? Victorian. I think it's oh, it's a compote. Or isn't that called a compote? Mm -hmm. It probably says on here. Back to World War II. Spoonies adorn every table in a formal setting to serve mints and nuts. Even though it has multiple spoons, only one was to be used. So maybe you get your own personal. Mm -hmm. that oh, that's cool? neat. Mints and nuts. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's neat. Florence Manufacturing. What was yeah, this no, for? A dental cabinet. A dental cabinet. The little window for teeth. <laughs> or teeth. <laughs> Put teeth in there. Is there teeth in there? No, I don't know. What would you do with that? It would be funny if there was old pulse teeth in there. Yeah, they should have done that for yeah. fun. It's duvet. A duvet. Oh, so Polar. it's modern then. Polar queen. Pretty with the big koi on there. Oh, yeah. So you can put it on your bed and over there. This room always, because it's very oh, narrow, God. it makes me want to run and then like jump into the stuff over here. <laughs> sure Just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Look at the embroidery. You that little short one? You got the little orange one? Or little In the summer I do, not this time of year, because yeah, I don't yeah. want it to spot if it's drizzly or anything. That's pretty. Mine has wisteria coming down That'd the- That'd be pretty with jeans even. I know. So beautiful. If I had to do laundry, like this would be my <laughs> machine back in the day. <laughs> Look at this. It's pink. Your mom had one? No, I told you that girl that I went, that was my age, was helping her mom because you wash them and then you have to go through the wringer and squeeze them. Then they drain the soapy water and they put rinse water and then you do it all over again. And she was helping her mom feed them and got her finger stuck in there and it sucked her whole arm and <gasps> jerked her whole arm off. Oh, yeah. what is that? A story. These are the stories my mom would that tell me when I was little. <laughs> when that happened, it was like when I was in kindergarten. My mom wouldn't let me help no more. Yeah, that's super that's scary. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. It. Bathtub's huge. I would have took this in my house. 1750. Wow, that's they all. Just redid it. Yeah, it looks really good. Is that that's bigger than my bathtub? I think this would be a neat uh, plant hold plant stand, mom. To put it. Oh, it's really rickety. Isn't that pretty though, the shape? Asian lamp housing. Oh, it's for those rice paper lamps. This looks like Sherman, but a skinnier version, Mom. <laughs> Look. I love a real skinnier version. Yeah, cute though, huh? Blue eye. Remember your duck. Look at the big rug. That looks like mine in my living room. I, yeah, Karistan. That's our, mine is 10 by 14, and I got it for $150 on Craigslist. 10 by 12, you know what? 2500 ours i um i saw it pop up online and i immediately ran and i was like i was like can i come i'll come get it right now we were like an hour and a half from salem i'll come get it right now and i pulled up to the house it was a really fancy big house and the inside was all white carpet and they all took their shoes off and i was like oh this is the place where i'm gonna buy a used rug like this is a good spot these are neat mom did you see this that's pretty cool. And there's a dragon one. Super pretty. That Italian tollware. Look at the big tassels on this. I'm getting this. Hold on, mom. <laughs> mom found something too, but I'm definitely getting this. That's really beautiful. Mom wants a picnic basket for her sewing basket. So she has a bigger, it's nice and clean. Check the booker out on the other side all the way around. You just go like that to close it. Yeah. Okay, I, I want that. Heck yeah, we we'll put our stuff we were gonna get inside of it while we carry it, huh? Oh my gosh, Pete would like that mushroom. Look, look it looks like a morel. My mom says she's turning up today and feeling sassy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here comes all the plunder. All right, so many cool things. We had a big day. Mom and I are wiped out. She went home. She said she was tired of being a celebrity today, so she just went home. <laughs> she couldn't anymore. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, my, I think my mom's kind of tired, but we uh, we had fun because we went out for sushi lunch and stuff, and then we went over to that big antique mall. So I got this, which is so beautiful. This Italian tollware. Look at the big tassels on here. I just thought this was really, like, it looks very regal, and it has a really nice weight to it. It's a gorgeous quality piece, and I love, look at this, like, rope, roping design on it. 
I just think it looks so high end. I tried to see if there was a pair, but I kind of feel like this candelabra, because it's so bold and kind of ornate looking, it's it's a statement all on its own. I don't think it needs a pair, but what a fun thing to put like pretty colored tapered candlesticks in it. So that's super pretty. Oh my gosh, okay. This entire box is full of all of the prints. I'm gonna show you them one by one just because there's some really beautiful ones in here. And I think, I'll probably have in my shop. I'm gonna clean them first because they haven't been cleaned in thir like literally 30 plus years. <laughs> so I'm gonna get them all cleaned and nice. So I tried to get some of them were actually um, sets, like a matching pair. Yeah, this was signed by the same artist. These are real paintings. I just thought those were really pretty. Look at the, I like the color combo on this with the pansies. What are those blue ones? Like little hyacinth or something? from 1972 to Gary and Susan may God bless you nicely I think it says nicely richly oh like oh my mom picked up this one that's pretty I didn't really stare too much there were so many people like by the time we left there were probably like three times the amount of people than when we started but uh so I I told my mom I was like if you think I might like it just put it in the bag because uh why not <laughs> but look how pretty this is isn't that beautiful? I just love when they're already in the old frame like that, like literally just clean it up. It's beautiful old walnut. And this is the same, hold on, I'm gonna get my stuff real quick because I always talk about it. Okay, this bottle, just so you know, I'm testifying to you right now. This bottle of Howard's orange oil is five years old and that's how much I have left in it. And you, you, you know I have antiques and stuff around the house and, and this is what I was telling you that I always, oil them with like I'll get the dust off first and then you just put this on an old <laughs> I get it oh my gosh my mom's gonna laugh but she's the one who taught me to say I always say a wash rag <laughs> get a wash rag I don't, what other people a wash cloth I don't say that <laughs> it's a wash rag if you're cleaning right um, so I would get one of those <laughs> and then you wipe this on your uh, wood pieces that are un anything that's unfinished that doesn't have that polyurethane over it but like these old brittle kind of uh, picture frames look so beautiful if you just rub a little bit of that on your wash rag <laughs> or an old sock right. and this bag was that beautiful curtain that is a just one curtain panel that I found at Goodwill, but it is just pristine, in excellent condition, and the pattern was so pretty. It looked like very Marie Antoinette with this kind of like, I don't know, ostrich feather plume running along the back. Like here's more, yeah, you can really see them here. That was like acanthus leaves or that, almost looks like the ostrich plume there. Just beautiful color combination. The fabric is nice and thick. It's like a good thick cotton where you could really use this for pillowcases or like my mom said, if you wanted to cut this panel in half, you could make two curtains or a pretty valance or something like that. But I brought this home. These were pretty too. I think my mom picked these ones out here, but look at the frames on these. They're like an old doily. So beautiful, huh? Are these magnolias? I don't know what kind of flower, it kind of looks like a magnolia to me. Isn't that unique? The frame, the frame itself is like a, I don't know, it feels like a cardboardy doily thing. It's like, it's thick and it's not, it's not a cotton thing or paper at all. I don't know. It's like, feels like cardboard, but I thought that was really beautiful. They almost look like lace, huh? Around there. That, these are going to be really pretty cleaned up. Ooh, this one looks like a real... I forgot what was in here. We just were cramming so many things. There's a deer here and then someone walking over a bridge, it looks like in the forest from 1936. And then what else? Oh, we found this. My mom spotted this really beautiful shell dish and it's actually stamped made in Italy and numbered. Isn't that pretty? But just a beautiful dish for soaps or jewelry next to your side. The, I like to put like my little chapstick and any kind of jewelries or anything on my nightstand. That's a perfect little size. These were really neat. I should have gave these to my mom before she went home. I thought these would look neat in her bedroom because they're like that silhouette style. They have this really old like crimson 
colored velvet for a backing. And they're really lightweight, super easy for us to hang. Maybe she could do, we were kind of talking about her bathroom because it's kind of a, a boring <laughs> spot in there with no like actual style. So we were talking about doing maybe a big wall mural or something in there with some texture, but these might be kind of neat in there too. We kind of need to get together and talk about like, I guess like the color combo and stuff, but these were just so cool. I told her, I was like, let's get those. I've literally never seen anything like these before. It feels like a celluloid or something. These aren't wood, but it's all velvet backing. Then at the estate sale, we got all kinds of beautiful little jewelry boxes. I love these little footed jewelry boxes like this. They just look so elegant on a dresser or in your bathroom on your vanity or something. I thought this one's so pretty with that red velvet. Oh yeah, so these are the pear ones that I picked up. I thought those are really beautiful, just like old cabbage roses. I love the uh, prints like this that look like those old like botanist books, like the old botanicals. And I especially love it when they say the scientific names. This one says roses and spira. There was a back room in that place. I'm sorry, I like tried to film the best I could, but it was like overwhelming in there. But there was a back room in that spot that had hundreds of books. And I've always wanted to find, and if you ever do go to an estate sale, you should look for them yourself. But the old Audubon books, they'll have big pictures of bird life, insects, the plant life and everything with the scientific name. Those are worth a lot of money. And you can actually like sell the individual pages. Like people will take a little scalpel because people love to frame them. So if you're a reseller or you want to kind of dabble in that a little bit, those but those Audubon books are worth a ton of money. Like really, like it's, look at some of them on eBay so you can kind of get an idea of which ones to look out for. But I don't think you could go wrong if you get any vintage Audubon book. This is a fun little shape on this one here. Again, like look at the, all the velvets just perfect, but beautiful little um, round kind of little squatty shape on that. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. We picked this up at the antique mall. It's a swag light kit because my mom and I have a, a little project we're working on, but this was only 10 bucks. It was a good deal. This was like the only thing that I actually needed today was this. <laughs> he is so cute. This little bottle stopper. You know what? I'm going to have this on my website and my goal is to have everything cleaned up. So everything you're seeing here, minus a couple things I'm keeping, <laughs> will be up on my website, thevintagebombshell.com. Uh, but I found some really cute things today and this I thought was so adorable. I think he might all, oh no, this bottom part is porcelain. So it's stamped Germany on the bottom and the stopper itself is like an enameled metal and the cork is still good. Okay, you know, if this were mine, if I was keeping this like for my style, I would put bubble bath in it. Cause wouldn't that be so cute by your bathtub? Like a little bloop. What else do you think you would be cool for? Do you ever like take bottles like this and repurpose them for your own home? I just think it's fun because you never, you never see things like this cute at the store anymore for home use. And I feel like back in the day, everything had really great, unique, cute packaging that you'd want to keep and reuse. Uh, but something like this, yeah, I would put bubble bath in. I think it would be adorable. Oh, these are really pretty. I love the color of the frames in these ones. It's like a beautiful minty green. And look at that one. Some kind of like a heron or something. What era do you think these are from? Maybe like early 60s, do you think? No date on them. They're both wired and ready to hang, but I just love the two-tone mint frame. And again, like clean these up. They're gonna look so pretty. I was so happy to see Gail there and I was teasing her when, when we were standing next to each other because she was really excited about the artwork too. And I told her, I said, if, if you need me to reach anything, I got long arms and I can get it for you because everything was up on a shelf. But this, thank goodness, I have long arms because this was way up above a doorway and I was like, <laughs> so I, I was able to snag it off the wall, but I, I think that's why it was still there because I was the only one at the sale who could reach it. <laughs> but I just thought this was so beautiful. Um, it's in the original frame here and it's Jesus with the sacred heart, but isn't that so pretty? Just the colors are just beautiful. This blouse 
I feel like is going to be adorable. I was thinking of all the ways I'm gonna style it up, but the sleeves I thought were the cutest. I'm gonna put this in the wash. You know like that smell of an old library, like old dusty library books, it kind of smells like that. <laughs> So I'm gonna wash this, but um, <laughs> I wash all the things that I thrift. But uh, I thought the sleeves were really cute because it's almost like a balloon looking sleeve. And I love the pink gingham. I know this doesn't probably look like anything special right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna style this like modern day and I think it'll be really, really cute. And plus it was only $2. Oh, let me get the big prints. You're gonna lose your mind, hold on. These are the big unframed prints that I got and the top one, oh my word. I wish some of them I got are duplicates, which was crazy. I can't believe I found duplicates of them, but this this is the, the fates. These are the three fates. And check this out in the living room. My mom got this one for me at an estate sale. Um, she, she said she paid like 20 for it, I think for the print. Uh, but I went and got it professionally framed. I, I, I got this frame itself at an estate sale and then I bought it, I brought it to the local frame shop and had them, you know, cut the glass and then cut a, a mat for it. And I picked out the color and everything, but I'm pretty sure it's the same artist. I don't know if I covered up that signature down there or not. But look. Okay, this is the one I just found at the sale. Isn't that phenomenal? Look at the colors. I love, I mean, they just look like nymphs in the forest, right? And look, amazing. Isn't that the same art? Let's look and see. Burner, I can't read unless I take that out of the thing. Oh, it's the same artist. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I had no idea. I'm gonna have to get online and see if there's like a real, like a series so I kind of know the story of them. Oh, that's phenomenal. I'm gonna have to look in my garage because I have a couple more big ornate antique frames and I'm gonna have to frame this one because they just, look at this, oh my gosh, freaking out. Our living room has kind of become very uh, botanical in here with a lot of the plants and stuff. But she was one that I got on eBay. If, you, if you're a new subscriber here, you should click, there's this one video I have that says I thrifted a masterpiece and that, that's her, but I got it on eBay and it's kind of a fun video of, of my husband Pete and I hanging this up and I, this is just on a canvas and uh, my friend who's an art dealer told me that back like in the cowboy days and, and earlier, they would have these large pe nudes hanging in old saloons. I had these curtain rods that I got at a thrift store and they're like your drapery rod and they have these big rings on them and stuff. Anyways, we hung, that's how we hung it up here. But it was just kind of a fun, fun little video that Pete and I put together. And I think you might like it too if you're new on my channel. But I just feel like this is the same vibe of the ladies in the forest. Like I, they are almost like fairy ladies. Isn't that pretty? I'm just over the moon about this one. The coloring is so pretty. Okay, so I want to show you the other two. I have... Three more, and they're lithographs, which is really exciting because uh, they're such beautiful, beautiful quality. I have duplicates, which I, I just really can't believe finding a duplicate. When, whenever you're in the vintage world and you see two, you should always get both, <laughs> and I did. <laughs> but isn't this beautiful? I don't know if I've ever seen this piece before. This one's called Love and Beauty. It's by Stern and Hacker, it says, is the printer at least. Um, but this is a really beautiful piece, isn't it? Look at the coloring. There's so much going on in this piece of art and it's just, it's so romantic and almost looks like a fairy tale. Look at these beautiful roses down here in the bottom and the woman resting on the fountain. Look at the little cherubs dancing over here. These ladies, like, what are they talking about? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? This one has a little cherub on it. Oh, the bird. Oh, that's really cute. I didn't notice that. That's a pretty one. Again, footed, so sweet. Beautiful velvet on the inside. This is a really neat purse. I don't think my mom saw this or she would have been grossed out because she hates snakes. <laughs> but I don't know if this is actually snake skin or I know it might be eel. I didn't look at the inside to see see what it says. No tags on the inside or anything. What do you think looking at it? I mean, it feels really thick. 
It might be that eel. You know, they did that a lot in the 40s and it's like really soft stuff. Or maybe it's like embossed leather. I don't think it's actually snake skin. Could be. It's textured. I don't know much about snakes. <laughs> oh, this was a cute little thing. This was from the big antique sale too. I mean, he has lots of chipping obviously on him wear and tear, but so sweet. I was thinking this would be really cool for, you know, like that conical incense that's like very small. This would be like the perfect little dish to burn incense or something, or even like a salt uh, reservoir would be a good little thing for that. But he looks very art deco looking, don't you think? Oh, I got this at Goodwill and it's marked Japan. Thought the bamboo was really beautiful. I showed this to my mom because I thought she would like this for her bathroom jewelry dish, but she already had something, uh, but I just couldn't resist, so I got that too. Then these two tablecloths. Oh, I forgot about that. Hold on. <laughs> Look, a tea strainer. These are so hard to find. I feel like I used to be able to find them all the time for my shop, and now they're pretty scarce. This one did not have a rest, but it's a nice bigger size where you could just put this on a saucer but it's in excellent condition the, the design is really pretty too where the tea itself will strain i have never seen vintage tablecloths that were like literally brand new still i just thought this was really cool that it has the original label on it this one's a cute print with all these fun little carnations on it and stuff isn't that cute Love the coloring and has pink piping, which is really pretty. I was sad that pink daisy one had the big stains on it, huh? Were you? I was like, ah, oh. I always feel bad when I see these linens because some of them have the staining on there. And if it's been there that many years, sometimes that'll never come out. So I, I usually don't chance it. I try to get things that are in good shape just because I don't know if I can get stained out or not, you know? This one's really cute. It's kind of a pretty like a beige flax type material. Not, not a white, it's kind of like a soft tan color, but has pears and berries on it. And my favorite were the little bees that are kind of scattered about on it. But again, like that same brand, I wonder, I'll have to look these up. They must be like mid-century or something like that. Doesn't that label look like a, like a mid-century looking label with the little starburst on there? Really cool. Okay, I'm not quite done yet. <laughs> when I'm the type when I have an idea, like I gotta do it now, you know? And I had to know what my frames would look like. There's one other frame I have in mind, but it, I need Pete to help me get it out of the garage. It's kind of buried in some other junk. <laughs> but uh, I think that this frame will be perfect. The gold in it looks very shadowy. And I think that complements the artwork. And when I change the mat out and pick a different color, what color would you choose? I'm kind of feeling like I want to go with one of the the green tones or like a dark, like a dark brown or one of the very, very dark greens in there and let it be more of a, a richer a shadowy look compared to the other one. But isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I'm real excited to get this frame now. This one reminded me of, is it Maxwell Parish or Maxfield Parish? I think it's Maxwell Parish. This piece looked like one of his, and this says lithographed on the bottom, so that's really exciting. Garden of Melody by Roy Grossman. But isn't that a beautiful piece too? Look at the coloring. I just love uh, pieces that kind of have some like shadow depth to them. This is just so beautiful. Like you can see the sun is setting on the mountains in the background there. And these ladies are like resting in the shade of the trees and he's like over there playing the flute. Just playing a little ditty. <laughs> this one I don't believe is as old as the ones I just showed you. This is vintage. Everything in that house was a vintage and or antique thing. Uh, but I think this is a, a like a reproduction. I to, Looking at like the paper itself, I would probably say this is like a, a 1970s poster of an old advertisement, but I just thought she was really beautiful too. Pears soap, healthful skin, good complexion, soft, white, beautiful hands, Pre prevents redness, roughness, and chapping. One of the most purest and durable soaps. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute in a bathroom or a powder room or something? I just thought that was beautiful. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. I thought this was such a fun day, man, finally getting to go in the house. I hope you enjoyed it too, and I'll see you next time.